All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's Jill with Go English Coach. Today, we're going to cover these final three sounds. The diphthongs is what they're called. What a diphthong is, is essentially a sound that is created by two sounds. Um, so, oi, ow, and i. And if I slow that down, like I just did, you can kind of hear that there's oi, oi. So there's that oi, ow. You can hear ah with the w. And then i, you can hear ah and e, i, i. Let's jump right in. So I've got these a list here of these three different sounds and then some sample words for that have this sound in them, okay? So we've got I, time, by, invite. So that sound is on the second syllable. So these all just have one syllable. Friday, I, okay? My, cry, die, lie, mind, I, like this I, I as in myself, I. And then the last one is height, height. Okay, so all of those have the I sound. So what I ask for you to do here is take a moment and look at the spellings of these sounds and then notice if this is anything that's new to you, you're like, oh my gosh, I never really knew that that was how you said that word. So if there are pronunciations or spellings here that are surprising to you, maybe just, you know, circle that and then kind of put it aside so that you can practice it so that you never have that mistake again. Okay, the next one we have is ow, ow. You can see how very open my mouth is, ow, okay. Crowd, round, house, now, and drought. Oh, and bow, okay. So we've got O-W, O-U, O-U, O-W, O-U-G-H, and O-U-G-H. Now, O-U-G-H is not, it's not always pronounced ow, right? Because we've got, um, for example, we've got this one, O-U-G-H. This is through, okay? Um, we have the, T-H-O-U-G-H. So this is through, though, thorough, okay? Um, here we've got thought. I know they're so similar. <laughs> the best way to do this, you guys, is just really to practice with the, the sounds and the words and getting comfortable with the, the correct pronunciations of those words, okay? Um, and then we'll, finally, this one is less common, so I have less examples here. Um, we've got oi, so it's boy, voice, noise, and employ. Oi, oi. Okay, great. So what I'd like to do is we're going to go through this list together. So first of all, let's take a look here. And again, it's these three sounds, the I, ah, uh, and oi. Okay. Um, we are talking about those three sounds here in these notes where it says joining vowels together. So let's just take a look at what they're doing here. It says, when I, ow, and oi are followed by another vowel, use Y or W to join them. So I agree. We're going to say I agree. I agree. So you're kind of connecting those two words with a, a Y sound. Okay. Same thing here. Science. You can hear the Y. Science. Yince. Now, when then, now, when then, there's a W sound in there. A boy and a girl, yen, yen. They're talking about this connection, right? And, uh, and a girl, a boy and a girl, okay? This next part, which is alternating vowels, it says in some related words, the stressed vowel alternates between I and I. So this is the long I sound, I. It actually says the name of the letter, right? I and I. So sign. And if you add this kind of 
suffix here, sign, to signal, I, I, ride, here's another example, ride, ridden, that's the participle for the verb ride, okay? Sign, signal, ride, ridden, okay? Let's take a look at these complex vowels in some phrases, okay? So we've got, so I'll just say them twice and then you just repeat. So we'll do all of these, then these, and then these. Okay, so number one, science prizes. Science prizes. Number two, the right to privacy. The right to privacy. Three, a bike ride, a bike ride. Number four, a tiny island, a tiny island. And then ow, okay, we've got a crowded house, a crowded house. A countdown, a countdown. The town's boundary, the town's boundary. Um, and then loud shouting, loud shouting, okay? Um, for oi, we've got boys' toys, boys' toys. Um, loyal employer, loyal employer. Spoiled boys, spoiled boys. Annoying noises. Annoying noises. Okay, great. Um, now, so what we're talking about here with this alternating vowels is when you're taking the a word and you're adding a suffix, right? A suffix is a part of a word that is added to the end. Um, so for example, here we've got collide, which is a verb, okay? The two cars collided. Okay, to collide is a verb, but a collision is a noun. So they added S-I-O-N onto the end of the verb and it created a noun. So it's a new word, but kind of based on this word. So this is the verb and this is the noun. So I is collide, collision, decide, decision. So you can see what's happening there. You're adding another syllable and it's it's changing the pronunciation of that sound. Okay. Crime, criminal. Okay. I want you guys to do these next three. Take, take a moment and do this here. Okay. Let's see if you guys got these right. So wise, wisdom, Cycle, cyclical, hide, hidden, hide, hidden. Okay, great. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in our next class. Bye.